Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahawa Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Giving double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the and shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, I'm going to do a quick hit. We got camping a little bit. But this, le this lesson is going to be titled as Continue to Teach. Continue to Teach, man. Continue to teach um, in this truth. Teach the correct doctrine. All right. Continually teach. Work out your own salvation, man. And uh, I got some precepts. This is uh, 1 Timothy 4. And I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, These things command and teach. It says, Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. And con, you got to be able to teach. And again, you got people that come across your channels. All right. You got sheep that come across your channels. And the way you present yourself on the camera and the way how you, you talk, you speak, you know, how you carry yourself. All right, that's not a good example to be, man, you know. So we, we have to be that an example to the believers, all right. We got to make sure we're in the right spirit. You know, we're doing things in the right manner. Because, hey, you got sheep that tune into your lessons, man, you know. Let me get that again. This is uh, 1 Timothy 4 and um, verse 11. It says, These things command and teach, let no man despise thy youth. But be thou an example to the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. Right? Because we got to be examples to the believers. Yahweh Shai was a perfect example of how to be in a ministry. Right? There's a there's a scripture. I can't really think of it right now at the top of the head, elders and brothers. But there's a precept that goes in there where Yahweh Shai was that example. He was the perfect example of how we are to carry ourselves in this thing. Continue to teach. You're doing that with faith. No matter how bad of a low estate you're in, continually teach. Continually do the works. So we're going to continue to glorify you. How about Shema Shai? This is all we got. This is all I got. You know, so we're going to continually teach. Continually teach. Continually do the works, man. Alright? And it says, um, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So there you go. We got we to gotta continually give attendance to reading, exhortation, and to doctrine. That's the whole point of being a minister in this truth. Being a prophet, a man of the Lord. Continually giving attention to reading, exhortation, and to doctrine. So you have to teach the truth. And truth is sincerity. This is for salvation purposes. Not vainglory purposes. Not clout. Alright? I'm not saying brothers are doing that. But I'm just saying in general. You got these other Israelite groups out here that's outside of Great Millstone. That's not teaching the same doctrine. They're doing things for clout, vainglory. Because they under the 501c3 charter. Those are the individuals I'm talking about. Those that sold out under the 501c3. So you got you to gotta teach this word in truth and sincerity, man. Verse 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. Neglect not the gift that is in you. You have a gift. The Lord gave it to you. Use it. Use your gift. It may not be much. But hey, the gift that the Lord gave you can wake up an Israelite out there. That don't know of this truth. It can be Deuteronomy 28. Continually teach. Continually do the work. Remember, you working out your salvation. Don't be ashamed of the Lord. Don't worry about all these other thoughts that come to your head, man. Yahweh Bashimah Shai is with you. He's going to put the, the spirit of confidence upon you to be able to do his works. To be able to do his ministries. To teach. To go on the highways and byways. Do videos. That's the Lord already putting the spirit on you to do that. He's already with you, man. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost, brothers. We got to continually uh, do the works and not neglect the gift that is in you. The Lord gave us our gift. He can take it away from you and give it to someone else. Psalms 51 and 11 talks about that. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. It says, which was given thee by prophecy. So the Lord ordained us. The Lord set up prophets. Let me get that Jeremiah out real quick, man. You know? Get that Jeremiah. I think it's Jeremiah 1 and 5. Make sure I'm right, though. Yep, this is Jeremiah 1 and 5. 
It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of, of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So the Lord set this up from the beginning. He knew that we were going to be prophets. He knew we were going to be out here teaching. All right, Yahweh Bashimashai set this up, man. So we, we are to continually glorify the Lord. The Lord called us into this thing. So we got to continually uh, 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 endure through this, man. Continually teaching. No matter what is thrown at you, no matter what you're going through, I don't give a damn if you got put up as an example by the elders of Paul's Great Millstone. Take the rebuke. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost and continually teach. Don't let your feelings get the best of you in this thing. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. And I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. You know? We have to continually glorify the Lord. We have to continually glorify the Lord. And I've been rebuked many times, man. The main point is what? Working out my salvation. I fear the Lord. Because even if I was to be prideful and do all that, who's gonna who's gonna guide me? How how am I know I'm going I'm going I'm going into the right path if I don't have no no one over me making sure that I'm I'm teaching the correct doctrine and doing things right. That's why we have the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Big Bros and this thing. They're directing us. They're making sure we're standing on staying on track. You know, don't get us wrong. Don't get me wrong. You're going to slip. I'm going to slip. We're all going to slip. We in these flesh. That's why the scriptures say, where is this filthy rags, right? So, brothers, leave your emotions at the door. Continually teach, man. Continually glorify the Lord. Continually follow Great Millstone. So what if, if you got rebuked? So what? Teach. Continually teach. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. We are working out our salvation. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 14. Neglect not the gift that is in thee. It says, uh, which was given thee by prophecy with the lying of the hands of prosperity. Meditate upon these things. See, verse 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them that thy profit may appear to all. Verse 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. So you're supposed to take heed onto yourself and onto the doctrine. You are accountable for what you do. You are accountable of the choices and decisions that you make in this ministry. Yeah, you may have your own camp. Yeah, you may, you may meet brothers, you know, and you, you guys link up. But every decision that you make individually is going gonna, gonna to fall on you at the end of the day. You can't blame nobody else. You can't point the finger at nobody else. Every decision that you make is on, your, is on you. This is why the scriptures say, haste not in the day of trouble. Don't make rash and quick decisions. Because you're cool with this individual, so now you're going to take his back. And and, and, and that, that leads to falling out. This ain't directed to nobody. I'm just saying in general. This ain't directed to nobody. So don't think I'm directing this to you. I'm not directing this to nobody, man. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine Continue in them. Continue in the doctrine. It says, For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Because you got you got sheep that tune into your lessons. They tune into your lessons. They tune in to your videos. And the way you're teaching, if you're teaching the this word in truth and sincerity, which you learned from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you have nothing to worry about. But if you're teaching something that's contrary to the scriptures, which contrary means opposite. You're teaching false doctrines, right? You start going away from what you learned. Now it's a problem because the scriptures say what? This is uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continuing them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. See, so you're saving yourself and those that hear thee. So you want to be teaching this word in truth and sincerity. You want to be teaching the correct doctrine. You want to continue to teach. You want to continually glorify the Lord show yourself worthy in the eyes of the Lord because that's what it's about the Lord is putting us in different triumphs man different aspects different things man and the Lord's gonna the Lord is testing us to see if we're gonna fall out or not don't let no one or nobody try to draw you out from the truth try to have you go up against great millstone don't let no one do that I'm not saying brothers is doing that just don't let no one do that don't let no ex-member come around you and try to get you in it like Elder Yashawam was saying. Don't let no one get you. Don't let any former member of GMS get you in their, in their bitterness. You have your own salvation that you have to work out. You know? 
We have our own individually. We have our own salvations that we have to work out. Let's get that. Let me get that uh, second Philippians. Not end to wrap it up with that. You know, I just had to bring this out through the spirit, man. Don't let your feelings. Don't let none of that stuff get to you. Don't let none of that stuff get to you, man. Because you always got to think back and look at it like brothers say, man. When you get rebuked, you, you you don't think about it. You know, you may get emotional and all that. But you really got to sit and think like, okay, maybe what I am doing is wrong. You know? If a brother's giving me a warning or something, I'm going to say the water and salak it, man. Because, hey, the Lord is speaking through that individual. This is 2 Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, Salakia, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your own salvation. Don't let somebody else's bitterness get to you. Don't let that get in the way of you glorifying the Lord. That has nothing to do with you, man. You know? Continue to teach. Continue to preach the word, man. So I'm in there with that. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash. Peace, blessings, salutations, and hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad, pushing forth this word of truth and sincerity. I am the brother, Mashiach, Arazaka, from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. Double honors to the elders and apostle, Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai Mashai. Peace, blessings, salutations, hopeful elect. Shalom. Well, once that's was edifying. Till next time, shalom. Shalom.